This is the running tram powered by the overhead catenary. Its basic principle is that it is powered by the pantograph through catenary, transferring the electric energy to the tram motors, air conditioning, lighting, and other electrical facilities. This is a very traditional power supply technology. Its disadvantage is that the overhead lines look like a spider web, affecting people's visual experience. When there is inclement weather, it will have a huge impact to the safety of the overhead catenary power supply. We now remove this overhead catenary and put the pantograph away. In this case, will the tram not be able to run? But wait! We build a ground power supply system between two rails. Look! Our tram is again moving on. The sky turns clean and tidy. This is the most basic benefits that the ground power supply system brought to our city. Tram wave ground power supply system consists of two parts, underground and above ground. The underground part is of a power supply module, while the above ground part is of what we call the magnetic powered boots, which are mounted beneath the bogey. Both parts work together to provide electric power to the tram. The underground part is the core part of the ground power supply system which uses a modular design and production. This is a standard ground power supply system module with a length of 3 meters or 5 meters. Its middle part is the anode conductive section with the length of around 500 millimeters. Its both sides are the negative conductive sections and the white part is the insulating carrier. These two yellow copper strips are the negative reflux rods. The following section is composed of two cables for power supply. On the left side is the positive, and on the right side is the negative for safety. This area contains three internal contacts. The red part is positive contact connected to the power supply positive pole, which is always in a powered state. The green part is the safety negative contact, which is always connected with the safety cathode. And the pink part is the dual link contacts, connected to the positive contact and the safety negative contact. When the flexible power band moves up, the upper metal connecting piece makes it connect to the positive contact. When the flexible power band falls down, the lower metal connecting piece makes it connect to the safety negative contact. We also call it as the polarity changeover contact. Let's look at the basic principle of the tram wave ground power supply system and the mode of its operation. When the energized magnetic shoe moves downward under the action of the magnetic force, the connecting metal piece on the flexible belt moves upward, connecting the positive contact of the power supply with the polarized change over contact. Transforming the electric power out through the positive conduction segment and forming a complete loop with the negative conduction segment. Let's look at the internal structure. When the energized magnetic boat moves forward, under the magnetic force, all the connecting metal shades on the flexible belt move upward continuously, connecting the positive contact of the power supply with the polarized changeover contacts respectively, and continuously supplying the electric power to the tram power through their conductive section. The connecting metal sheets, which are leaving from the energized magnetic boot, fall down in place under the action of gravity, and connecting the respective polarized changeover contacts with the safety negative contacts.
Safety is a top priority. The ground power supply system uses multiple safety measures to ensure the safe operation of the tram. Safety measures 1. Safety cathodic protection. This is the connection between the positive contact and the positive pole of its power supply. This is the connection between the safety negative contact and the safety negative pole. This is the polarized change over contact. When the connecting metal sheets on the flexible belt are connecting the positive contact with the polarized change over contact, the tram is powered through the conductive section. When the connecting metal sheets below the flexible belt are connecting the safety negative contact with the polarized change over contact, the safety cathode with grounding function is then connected performing the safety protection to all the systems by the manner of grounding approach. This unique polarized change over design makes the conductive section in the non-conductive area always maintaining the states of safety protection. Safety measures 2. Negative reflux protection. This is two negative reflux rods on the negative conduction segment. When one or two of its adjacent conductive sections are activated, it provides safety protection to the ground power supply system in the manner of grounded and reflux approach. Therefore, this street current, etc., in the power supply area does not need to be protected through tracks. It can be self-protected through the negative reflux device of the system itself, unnecessary to install any special protection device. Safety measures 3. Dynamic segmented power supply. When the power boot falls down due to its position just in the middle of the first and the second conductive sections, at this moment, both sections are simultaneously powered. When the power boot moves forward, the connecting sheet inside the first conduction section is staggered against the power boot and the magnetic force is reduced, causing the uh, connecting sheet inside the first conductive section falls down inside to and the action of the gravity and cuts off the power supply. When the power boot continues to move forward, at this moment, the metal connecting sheet inside the third group of conductive section is just at the same position of the power boot. That is to say, the metal connecting sheet inside the third group of the conduction section is sucked up, activated, and powered through the magnet, and always supplies the electric power in the form of 2, 1, 2, 1. Therefore, the conductive sections of the ground power supply system can be powered separately or simultaneously. And their maximum length being powered is just around 1 meter, so that the powered aerial has always been controlled beneath the bogey, ensuring the passengers and passenger trains to be always in a non-supply security zone. Safety measures 4. Virtual protection ring. In case of the heavy rain causing the rainwater diffusing the tracks, our tram can be still running. This is because the ground power supply system has a very effective safety device called virtual protection ring. The green area in the figure is just like a green barrier to protecting the security of the system. These two green bars are negative rules protect the system through the ground in the manner of backflow, while these two green sections protect the system through the polarity conversion in the manner of safety cathode. Both of these constitute a special closed barrier to ensure the power supply area in red always at the closed stage in the rule of virtual protection ring. 
and the protection ring moves along the moment of the powered device. In addition, at the time of flood spreading the tracks due to the special reasons, because copper has a priority conductivity compared with water, and hence the copper wire on the power device will suck away the most of the current, while the water can only conduct a very small amount of current. In addition to word to protection ring security barrier, even the flood fully covered ground track power system, security can be still guaranteed. The safety index of the tramway ground power supply system is certified by Italian Independent Certification Authority with a certification level of CL4. Compared with the mode of power supply by overhead catenary, a large amount of money at the early stage of the ground power supply system will be invested. However, the maintenance cost at the later stage is relatively much less compared with the mode of power supply by the overhead catenary. Therefore, in the same product life cycle, the overall cost for both is roughly equivalent. In addition, the ground power supply system can recover a certain amount of electric energy through the mode of regenerative braking and directly transfer it back to the grid to save operating costs for the user. The expected life of the tram wave ground power supply system is of 30 to 35 years. The system uses mechanical work mode, which is not affected by bad weather or severe environment. Poor contact or wear will not occur. It has good stability and reliability. Meanwhile, we have carried out a number of tests for the system, such as dust test, emotion test, the static load test, power supply module test, strength test after modules being installed, and the non-slip test for the module surface. These tests prove the reliability and the durability of the system. Compared with the mode of power supply by overhead catenary, the ground power supply system is much faster and more convenient in terms of installation and maintenance. Due to its modularization design and production instead of high attitude operations, four workers can complete the replacement in 30 minutes. The successful development and application of the tramway ground power supply system offers a brand new choice of the power supply mode for the city to have a safe and efficient operation of the trams. At the same time, the system can also provide ancillary services to the means of transport like trolley buses, providing a reliable electric power guarantee for the urban green and the smooth public transport operation, and having a broad market prospects.